These are newly released photographs of the Saint Padre Pio. The incredible images show the Italian friar celebrating Mass and deep in prayer, but also in lighter moments of laughter, rarely captured of the saint. Ten never-before-seen pictures of the saint are being released by the Saint Pio Foundation under the direction of Luciano Lamanarca, who discovered them when visiting the photographer Elias Saletto's studio. There was the authenticity and the, the quality of some of the pictures I never see. When I was in his studio, I was amazed. How can you bring this to the world? These 10 pictures are being released to the world to celebrate 10 years of the St. Pio Foundation. Tell me about these images. How do we see St. Padre Pio in a new light like we haven't before? Well, one of the pictures I was always amazed when I saw it was when Padre Pio held baby Jesus during Christmas. The light, so this was picture takes without flesh. The light that came just uh, beyond the status was amazing. Then we have Padre Pio celebrating Mass in completely new light. One is nice because everybody show, hey, Padre Pio is smiling. Yes, he was smiling because he was a man. So we always think that Padre Pio was the serious man. Since we know that faith is also about laughing and have a nice, a nice laugh sometimes. And the way he looks at you, but he doesn't look at you. Like Padre Pio didn't want to shine. That's why he didn't want to be taken picture of. He needed to give hope, healing. He needed to give, he needed to perform miracles eventually, many, many times. Growing up in Italy, Luciano was always aware of the giant figure that Padre Pio was in the Catholic Church, but didn't have a particular devotion to him until he and his wife faced a very difficult moment in their life. A uh, moment that brought us sorrow in my mind and my wife's life, the bad news that we could not be parent anymore. His wife had a stillborn child and was told by the doctors that they would most likely not be able to give birth in the future. It was devastating news for the couple, and it was in that moment that Luciano started to pray for Padre Pio's intercession. And in the process, he began to learn more about his life. What was it about Padre Pio that you, f you felt drawn to at that moment? As I was discussing with other people, I was learning some things of him that it never appealed to me actually who really Padre Pio was in his simplicity and humility. It was the grandfather I never had. An opera singer by profession, Luciano has always put passion in everything he does and felt such a connection to St. Padre Pio that he wanted to help bring his story and message to as many people as he could, especially in the United States. So with that, he started the St. Pio Foundation and for the past few years, they have toured relics of Padre Pio across the United States and raised awareness of the saint. How can we bring a true St. Pio to the life of those who life can be changed? I am a different man now that I was 15 years ago. It's because he changed me. And now to mark the 10 years of the foundation, they have also produced a documentary drama about the life of Padre Pio, which will be aired on EWTN later this year, providing another unique insight into his life. So it's a unique and true identity about who St. Pio was in his life and who he inspired eventually after. With a mix of, as you say, the documentary side of it, with the experts speaking on it, the people who know the story Absolutely. the best. Absolutely, and the true and story, the drama. That heard yeah. by those who met him, and just even seeing, there's a great part of the footage, you can see Padre Pio. And today, Luciano and his wife live in the United States with their son, Sebastian, who she gave birth to the year after he founded the St. Pio Foundation. As an Italian living in the United States, he is passionate about strengthening the ties between the two countries in the name of St. Pio, and in 2021 established the first square dedicated to the people of the United States of America in Petracina, the town where Padre Pio was born, and installed the original cast of the statue I Embrace You by sculptor Timothy Schmaltz. Surrounding the world, the map of the United States of America in sign of protection. 
And on the other side of the Atlantic, in the town of Newcastle in Pennsylvania, the town where Grazio Forgione, Padre Pio's father, immigrated 125 years ago. They established a square dedicated to the people of Italy and installed the only replica of the statue, I Embrace You. As we give praise to God on the occasion of the unveiling of this beautiful image of Saint Padre Pio. I found the Saint Pio Foundation with the goal to bring Padre Pio to a different level that has been brought before. To find out more about the newly released pictures and the upcoming film and much more, visit therealsaintpio.org.